Good morning everyone. It is Tuesday the 19th of January and we're going to join together this morning just as we read Proverbs chapter 14. So let us hear God's word. A wise woman builds her home but a foolish woman tears it down with her own hands. Those who follow the right path fear the Lord. Those who take the wrong path despise him. A fool's proud talk becomes a rod that beats him, but the words of the wise keep him safe. Without oxen a stable stays clean, but you need a strong ox for a large harvest. An honest witness does not lie, a false witness breathes lies. A mocker seeks wisdom and never finds it, but knowledge comes easily to those with understanding. Stay away from fools, for you won't find knowledge on their lips. The prudent understand where they are going, but fools deceive themselves. Fools make fun of guilt, but the godly acknowledge it and seek reconciliation. Each heart knows its own bitterness, and no one else can fully share its joy. The house of the Lord, the house of the wicked will be destroyed, but the tent of the godly will flourish. There is a path before each person that seems right, but it ends in death. Laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. Backsliders get what they deserve. Good people receive their reward. Only simpletons believe everything they are told. The prudent carefully consider their steps. The wise are cautious and avoid danger. Fools plunge ahead with reckless confidence. Short-tempered people do foolish things and schemers are hated. Simpletons are clothed with foolishness, but the prudent are crowned with knowledge. Evil people will bow down before good people. The wicked will bow at the gates of the godly. The poor are despised even by their neighbours, while the rich have many friends. It is a sin to belittle one's neighbour, blessed are those who have the poor. If you plan to do evil, you will be lost. If you plan to do good, you will receive unfailing love and faithfulness. Work brings profit, but mere talk leads to poverty. Wealth is a crown of the wise, and the efforts of the fool yield only foolishness. A truthful witness saves lives, but a false witness is a traitor. Those who fear the Lord are secure. He will be a refuge for their children. Fear of the Lord is a life-giving fountain. It offers escape from the snares of death. A growing population is a king's glory. A prince without subjects has nothing. People with understanding control their anger. A hot temper shows great foolishness. foolishness. A peaceful heart leads to a healthy body. Jealousy is like cancer in the bones. Those who oppress the poor insult their maker. But helping the poor honours him. The wicked are crushed by disaster, but the godly have a refuge when they die. Wisdom is enshrined in an understanding heart. Wisdom is not found among fools. Godliness makes a nation great, but sin is a disgrace to any people. A king rejoices in wise servants, but is angry with those who disgrace him. Amen. And again, another interesting proverb where Solomon throws so many different things to us. Probably one thing in that which I suppose everyone can identify with and probably at this time is so relevant is found in verses 12 and 13. Um, there is a path before a person that seems right but it ends in death. Laughter can conceal a heavy heart but when the laughter ends the grief remains. You know, grief is a, a difficult thing isn't it? Especially at the minute, we can't grieve in the normal way because of COVID and the restrictions that come with it. We can't draw alongside our friends and support them and our family in the ways that we would normally do that. And sometimes we think of life and we think of the futility of life. We're frustrated. We think somebody has, is such a godly person maybe, uh, and yet we, we look at what happens in their life. But it reminds us that verse that it says that every life ends in death. Yeah, it does. Because 
that's the cycle of life. We are born, we live, we die. But the wisdom, and the wisdom that Proverbs talks about, is the wisdom of knowing what we do with that life. And knowing if we surrender to God. But here's something for us to remember, um, just as we think of those who have lost loved ones. Verse 13. Laughter can conceal a heavy heart, but when the laughter ends, the grief remains. You know, for so many of our friends and family, they, they have grief, don't they? And even though they might seem like they're coping, maybe they're struggling. Maybe they're finding it difficult. Um, there's a little phrase which I quite often use, and if I've sat and talked with you through this, you'll understand this phrase. People sometimes say, oh, don't worry, life will return to normal. And I often say there's no such thing as normal. Once you've lost someone and once you experience grief, it's a changed reality. So just think about all those people who've lost loved ones during COVID. Maybe who haven't even been able to spend time with them and, and how they will feel at this time. And let's pray for them this morning and pray that God would help them in their grief. And that each day as that grief comes to them, that God would also bring his peace and his comfort and that God would bring his healing for them. So let's pray about that this morning. Father, it seems appropriate on a day which outside is grey and miserable that we think about something so serious as the loss of a loved one and the grief that goes with that. But Lord, even though it may be grey and it's a grey topic, a dark topic, we thank you for the light of your love which shines out through it whenever we realise that whenever we have put our faith and trust in you, that whenever our life on this earth does end, that we are with you in glory. And we thank you for our family members who have already gone ahead of us to be with you. But Lord, we do remember um, our friends and our neighbours and our family members who have lost loved ones during this time. And we recognise the difficulty that, that brings to them. So this morning, Father, we just think of them. We bring them to, them to you. We name them to you, Father. And ask that you simply put your arms around them and help them during this time. But for all who are struggling with grief this morning, may they know peace and comfort and reassurance in a way that you, only you can give. May they feel you close. May they have that touch from you. Lord, thank you that you are always with us in every situation. You simply want us to reach out and we do that this morning. So Lord, thank you and continue with us now this day we pray. Amen. It may be a grey and dark day outside as I look beyond the camera down the church car park I can see just how dark the sky seems. But even in the midst of all of that darkness we have a God who is amazing, who is incredible and who is with us. And this morning may you know peace and comfort from him in a way that only he can give. And whatever you're up to today, just surrender yourself to him. So folks today, please. Take care and may the Lord bless you. See you tomorrow.